Greetings and salutations, you guys. Hayden here. Welcome to our live sale this Monday, August 14, 2023. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I'm really excited. I haven't, I feel like I haven't talked to you guys during the daytime in a hot second. And the day has finally come. So happy Monday. Hope you guys all had a great weekend. Um, let me know how your guys' weekend was. Like, did you guys do anything fun, anything exciting, any thrifting, any like, Events, parties, clam bakes. The summer is almost over, but I feel like summer's just begun here, <laughs> honestly. Um, hi, West Coast gal. Hi, Deborah. How's everyone doing today? Oh, also, if you guys could help me think of a complete question, that would be perfect. I have this really cute, this is like a furry little charm, but it's actually like a sunglass or like eyeglass case. And then you can attach it to your like your bag or something and kind of like loop this through here to like keep it like tucked in. Oops. That. But yeah, it's super duper cute. It's like fun and furry and it has like leather trim and stuff. I don't even know where it's from. The brand is like TF. I don't know what that is, but it's super cute, it's super soft, and I thought this was like a cute little accessory. Hi Marion, hi Robin. I know, I'm just like, I miss you guys. Did I just wake up? No, I've been awake for a while. I've been running around the house. Ooh, whoops. I have my coffee right here. It's already half finished. <sighs> Hi, Robin. Hi, Edie. Did anyone have anything, like, did anyone do anything fun this weekend? Did anyone find any good deals or anything? Sorry, I have, like, all my stuff right here. And my little bag fell over. I have to show you guys something though. Hi, Purple Rain. I just got the cutest little J.W. Anderson hat. I have this in black already. I think I showed it to you guys a while ago. And then I found one in this lime green color. And I'm really, really excited about it. It's so cute. I'm going to take the tag off already. Hi, Linda. Hi, Desi. That's so cute. I'm going to put my AirPods inside. I can put my giant chapstick inside. It's like literally so perfect. Right, Linda? Isn't it adorable? Ooh, that's a good question. Who's your favorite actor or musician? Thank you, West Coast gal. You always have the best questions. All right, that is today's question. Let me leave the link for the giveaway today in the live chat. Leave your answer in the comments of that video, and then at the end of today's live sale, we'll be announcing our giveaway winner. But it's so cute. I'm so excited. Now I have two of these little guys. No, I'm not, Edie. I'm sorry. Um, Dead or alive, Robin. Either one. Either or. I think I could even move the camera. There we go, I think that's better. I'm gonna move this stuff over.
Okay. So let's get started. Let's see what our first item is going. Oh, did my screen go black? Hold on. I think I pressed something. Uh... Oh, there we are. I think I pressed something funny. Okay, let's get started. Our first item... Ooh, I have a bunch of new sunglasses, which I'm pretty excited about. Hey, Steffi! How are you? Happy Monday. <gasps> Steffi, how was your trip? I, I remember you said you were packing for, like, a conference. How was it? Yeah, and no, I see it. Hi, Linda. Yes! Hold on. It's almost done. Oh my gosh, why is my mom sending me photos of snakes? Um, <laughs> wait, hold on. I have... Yeah. Hold on, Linda. I'm going to post a photo right now of how it looks. I'm just waiting for it to, like, cure completely. Because I don't want it to melt in the mail. Because, like, when you mail stuff and it's too hot and it's, like, new. Like, newly, um, like, painted. Or, uh, what's it called? Um, especially, like, the top coat stuff that you put on it. It, like, can melt. And it's so annoying. Especially when it's so hot. But, apparently... <gasps> Wait, is that a rattlesnake? Oh, oh, that is a rattlesnake, but that's not by, that's not by our house. I think that's by the, the kid's school. Oh my gosh, hold on. You, you guys want to see the snake? Don't get freaked out, because we, we're scared of snakes, but there's a snake by the school. Oh my gosh. Um, hi, Carmen! The conference was great, but I had a bunch of people. <gasps> oh no, Steffi! That's awful! I'm sorry to hear that. There were like 10,000. <gasps> That's crazy! Oh, hold on, let me text my mom. Okay, I know Carmen, you came just in time for the sunglasses. Here's the link again for the giveaway. I know, Desi, it's massive. I'm always so paranoid of snakes, too. There's a lot, especially, like, where I live, because it's a wildlife preserve, like, a state park kind of thing behind our house. So there's no... There's, like, it's just, like, wildlife there. So we get, like, coyotes and snakes. So they are crazy. Oh, but here are, hold on, here are the photos for, and Lady Badger, I'm going to, I'm working on your bag next. Sorry, I've just been so caught up trying to get a, all, all the stuff done. But here's how it looks. Oh, zoomed up. But it looks so good, Linda. I'm so excited. It literally looks like a brand new little coin pouch. Like the leather looks so good. We cleaned it up, like fixed it up, conditioned it, repainted it, sealed it. I don't, do I have a photo of how it used to look? I don't remember if I have, I, I, I'm sure I have one somewhere, but. Looks so good. Okay. So that's that. 
Not my mom sending me a Facebook video about a planter that she likes. So, <laughs> not me clicking on it trying to see what it looks like. Hold on. Okay. Uh, thank you, Linda. Hi, Fighting Solace. Also, my mom says hi. <laughs> she says hi, everyone. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's start off with a pair of sunnies. Because I'm really excited about the sunglasses that I got. I don't even know which ones to start off with. Okay, I think I'll do these first. So this is a pair of Gucci sunglasses. I really, really like the silhouette and shape of these. They are so cute. They're like, um, they're round and like, they're like ovally, but they're also kind of like squared off a little bit, which is really nice. They do say Gucci on the side in gold, and they just are really cute. I feel like they look good on a lot of people. I always have, like, everyone in my family try on, like, the sunglasses that I buy. And I'm like, I want to see how it looks like on all you guys, too. So this is our first pair, Gucci. They're in really, really great shape. Just black on black. <gasps> A yard sale! No! Okay, see, so these are black Gucci sunglasses with gold hardware. Okay, we're going to do these for just $120. These are in really, really great condition. Just black on black with gold hardware. $120. Oh, Purple Rain's calling it. Congrats, Purple Rain! Yay! Yay! These sunglasses are awesome. Okay, next up, should I just do all the sunglasses first? Should I do that? Okay, I think I will do that. Well, let's just do all the sunglasses first, so people that want to see the sunglasses don't have to wait for them. Um, our next item... Okay, these are all over people's. They are... Um, they have a little bit more wear to them. Like, there's marks on the lenses and on the frames. You can see there's like light marks. And then on the inside, it does have like some marks from when the sunglass arms, like they hit the lenses. But they're all over people's. I feel like they're such nice sunglasses though. Um, like this is how they look on. I feel like the shape is so unique. I had to get them. Look, look how cute these look on. Oh my gosh! Linda, I love that case too. I feel like I actually carry that with me everywhere I go in case I want to change sunglasses because I'm crazy. So these are our Oliver Peoples Black sunglasses with the hardware is silver on these right Edie all of our peoples are really expensive and I think for all of our peoples it's easier to switch out the lenses um, so you can switch out the lenses on these pretty easily and then you can just get the frames like buff like, they, do, they just have light marks on them. Like, there's nothing crazy, but there are marks on the lenses. Or on the frames and the lenses. But nothing crazy. I think they still look really, really good. And I feel like they're such a flattering shape. And a pretty unique one, too. <gasps> West Coast Gal, I didn't find the mushroom. 
I'm gonna go to the Marshalls by my house today. <laughs> I went to the ones like where I go thrifting, uh, and I didn't see any. So I'm gonna go to the one by my house and see if I can find it. But if anyone finds one, let me know because I'm still on the hunt. Okay. All right. How much are these sunglasses, Vadrian? Okay, we're doing these for fifty-five dollars. That's a that's a link for. Ooh, Linda. Send, can, can you send me the link, maybe like in an email, and I'll put it up here because I don't think, I don't I think YouTube prevents like um, people from putting links up other than me. Oh, thank you, Linda. Yeah, if you see them, you gotta let me know. But um, these are the sunglasses. It's gonna be item number two. These are actually really cute. Um, they are. 56, 21, and 140. So the measurement is 140 across. And then the lenses are 56, and then uh, 20 up and down. So 140 is the width. These are pretty big sunglasses, though, Steffi. Though I do have some sunglasses for you, um, for people that have a smaller head and not part of the big head brigade like I am. But these are so cute. I feel like they're actually so chic. I really like these a lot. All right, um, I'm gonna put it right there. Our next pair of sunglasses, these are Celine. Now these are gonna be perfect for you, um, Steffi. These are a size small, but they're, still, they're like an oversized size small, you know? But these are, uh, yeah, they are like squishing my brain. But they are Celine sunglasses. These are in navy blue. And then they have silver hardware. Um, you can see the silver accents on the sides right there. Sorry, it has like a smudge. Hold on, let me clean these off real quick. Oh, is that what it is? Thank you, Edie. You're the best. Let me actually get a measuring tape. Where do I have that? I thought that that measurement was like the width across. That always confused me. Okay. It's about five and a half. So it's 5.5 inches pretty much exactly um, width wide. So 5.5 inches. Which is pretty big. If these fit me like nicely going across, then they are pretty big sunglass. These... Navy ones, the Navy Celines, are about 5.25. So these are definitely smaller. So instead of 5.5, they're 5.25. They are Navy. Where are my sunglasses? Oh, thanks, Edie. You're the best. I always, like, I love that you used to work at an optometrist. I think that's so cool. Yeah, there we go. Much better. So it's silver on the sides, on the hardware and stuff. And then it has a gray lens. And the body is navy blue. Oh no, my oily fingerprints. Yeah, the lenses are in really good shape. I just got some 
of the sticky stuff on the on the lenses now by accident that were on the sides. But this is what they look like. Oh, tick! I am addicted to TikTok. I didn't want to be, but now I'm like all over it. All right, this is gonna be item number three. These are our navy blue Celine sunglasses with silver hardware, and these are how much, Adrian? And these are gonna be 120, and these are in really great condition. Yeah, they're CL41066, and then it has, like, the backslash S, which means these are the small size. And these are, um, these are old Celine. It's cool, they say, like, Celine on the inside right there, too, the metal part, which I think is really cool. And this is item number two, or three, sorry. <sighs> Why is it getting hot? It's crazy. It's like so hot inside the house right now. It's just getting hotter and hotter. It was, it cooled down for like a second. Where's my fan? It cooled down for like a second and then now it's back to being really warm again. All right, next up, we got number four. Where did they go? Not those. Okay, these... I... I was on the fence about selling these, but, um... Because I had to... Or these I had to pay up for. But these are Chanel sunglasses. They come with the case. Also, these are aviators. And they are in, you know, like that maroon color that the inside of Chanel Classic flaps are? That's what the these sunglasses are. And the frames are, like, it's in that leather. Like, in leather, in that color. And then it also has the chain arms with the leather woven through in that same, like, maroon color. And the, the lenses are also maroon as well. Hardware is silver. They have little CCs on the sides as well. They have the nose pieces. These sunglasses are in really great shape. These are also really flattering on. They're really, really good size. Oh, now that I'm wearing them, I want to keep them. Oh, are you serious, Edie? That's crazy. Is that even on Celine ones? Because I feel like sometimes Celines have like different letters. I do love a polarized lens. What does it mean if, wait, this one doesn't say either. This one just says, oh no, it does say S. For, it says S1, so these are just sunglasses, right? Ooh, I like these. Hi, E Beauty. How are you? Okay, so these are. And I kind of like these more than my other Chanel aviators. Maybe I should keep these and sell the other ones. Because then I can sell them for cheaper. <laughs> hold on, we're going to hold off on these. Not me. Want okay, no, no, no. Let's just put them up. Let's just put them up. And if someone buys them, then it's fake. Okay. This is going to be item number four Chanel. Um, maroon and silver aviators with case. Um, these are going to be 225 and that's number four. So 225 for these guys. They're in excellent condition. Chanel, they come with a case, number four. All right, next up, we have our next pair of sunglasses. I think this is our last pair. 
Oh, thank you, Linda. <laughs> oh, Jocelyn's calling them. All right, Jocelyn, congratulations. Thank you for preventing me from porting the sunglasses. That's item number four. Our Chanel Eviers are going to Jocelyn. All right, these are my last pair of sunnies. I think these are so cool. And these are also in excellent, excellent condition. Um, these are Gentle Monsters. And these um, are still on sale on the uh, on Gentle Monster website for $400, I believe. And they are these. They're so cool. They have, um, they have jewels. And then they have, like, these cool, like, metal starbursts on the side. Jocelyn, do not be sorry. It's okay. I know they're going to a good home. I, I would just be hoarding them. I already have so many sunglasses anyway. I'm already keeping another pair for myself that I bought this weekend. So here they are. The lenses, too, are, like, in an ombre-ish, like, orange. And they're, like, slightly mirrored. They're so cute. This is how they look on. I know these are so cool. I know you love um, Gentle Monsters too, Carmen. So these are in fantastic condition. They're beautiful. These actually come in two different styles. Like, there's this one with the jewels and the star and the starburst on the side. There's another version that just has the starburst on the side but no jewels. So this is the, like, this is the upgraded jeweled version, which is so cool. And this is number five, our Gentle monster um antina antina i think it's antina pronounced antenna's two ends so. anyway sunglasses with jewels and silver hardware and these are gonna be these are also gonna be Let's just do these for 200. That's number five. So this is how these look on. Yeah, these are cool. Steffi! I've just been doing sunglasses. So this is my last pair of sunglasses that I have for today. And they are these amazing... Hey, Lady Badger. Okay. <laughs> Steppy. No, I don't have the original case for these, unfortunately. I'm sorry. The only ones that I had the case for were the Chanel ones. I don't think I have any Gentle Monster cases. Any Whenever I get gentle monsters they never have cases unfortunately okay so that was number five and that is the last pair of sunglasses that i have today oh wait i, I think i missed oh the number is read 52 15 oh 52 15 145 50 size the lens 15 is the bridge and 45 is the length <gasps> okay so, this is the temple, right? The arms. These are the temples. And then the lens size is 52. So that's the lens size right there. And then bridge, this is right here, right? So that's 15. That makes sense. So then these don't have the numbers. <laughs> but these are so cute. These are definitely a vibe. Oh, Linda, thank you. I didn't see that. Um, here is the link for the sunglass case that Linda was talking about. It's like the one that um, it has multiple, like, I think you can hold like five or six sunglasses inside of them. There's that link from Linda that she sent me an email for. So if anyone's interested in one of those cases, they are fantastic. I love mine. <gasps> Tanya, I didn't see your message in Discord, but I will check after the live. 
Sorry, I've been just, I have not been doing well on social media recently. I've just not been looking at anything. Okay, so that's our last item. The Gentle Monsters. What, Vadrian? <laughs> Vadrian says I'm too busy on TikTok, which is probably true. I have been loving TikTok. I don't know. Ah, delicious. Okay. Had my sip of coffee. Next up is number six. Um. Oh, why did I put this over here? I'm putting the wrong sunglasses away. This one goes over here. All right. Next we have is number six. And let's do this cute little bag right here. This is a Kurt Geiger phone bag. It's in this really pretty metallic leather. They're quilted. So cute. Is that dirty? Okay, it has a little smudge right there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a little dot. It's not really noticeable at all, but there's just like a little, can you see it right there? There it is. There's um, one, two, three pockets in the back for your cards. It actually has a little snap at the top and then phone fits inside. It's actually very spacious. If I could find my phone, I can show you. There it is. Super spacious. Like, it's actually a pretty big little bag, so you can put a couple other things inside, like a small compact, maybe like a chapstick or lipstick or something. I wonder if my giant... Oh, it does fit inside. Like, I could fit my giant glue stick chapstick inside there. So, it's really fun. Um, the crossbody strap has a leather piece on the end, and it's not adjustable. But it sits right at the hip, which is a really nice length. And this is item number six. Rainbow metallic quilted Kurt Geiger phone bag with silver hardware. And this one is going to be... $65 for our Kurt Geiger. That is number six. And, oh, Linda is calling number five and six. I'm sorry, Carmen. Congratulations, Linda. That one, those five and six are going to you. Oh, you can actually put the sunglasses inside of here. Also, it'd be so cute. I'm gonna actually put that in there. Snap it closed. Okay, congratulations. Okay, next up, we have number seven. And for number seven, let's do... Okay, these are a pair of the row sandals. And these are a size 36. And they're, they're like, um, they're black... And then it's like a black and cream, um, like fabric tongue portion. The underside is velvet and the top is like in a, like a canvas. So it's black and white. They are, they have like a little, little heel, like tiny. Ah, 
Okay, hold on. I can only hold up one shoe. It's like a tiny, tiny little heel right there. Um, again, they're size 36. <clears throat> and they're just a nice, simple, like, flip-flop style sandal. And they're from The Row. And if you watch TikTok, they're like the epitome of that quiet luxury trend. The Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen high-end brand. And these are how much they drain. Okay, we're going to do these, <clears throat> excuse me, for $145. That's going to be number seven. And they're, I think they're called the Swan Slides, I think is what Adrian said. Let's see. Let me just make sure. Let me see if I can find you guys a good photo, too. Yeah. Here's like a better photo of like kind of like what the sandals look like. It's kind of like hard to show it. Here's a better photo of them though. is gonna see if we can find a photo of like a model wearing them. But here's, um, here are some photos of the sandals. Uh, yes, size 36 is like a six. Like a five and a half, six for these guys. But that's how they look. Yeah, they're, Vadrian just confirmed that they should be a US size six. Did you be able to find a model wearing on Vader? Uh, okay. Here's a picture. The It's not the same exact color of the one that I have, but these are just the all black version. But that's how like they will look on. Right there. And then, hold on, Vadrian has one more photo for us. Oh, whoops. Okay, here we go. That is a close-up photo. <laughs> but yeah, so those are the sandals, but just imagine them being, like, the black and white version. And... That was number seven. Number eight is next. Okay, our next item. This one is a clear Vivier bag. Um, I attached this really cool, like, strap to it. It's a just a fun guitar strap. I thought, like, it looked really nice with it because it didn't come with the original strap. Uh, this is in a navy suede leather. And then it has black leather trim. And then it has brass hardware. Um, this is a Madewell strap that's on here. There's the bottom. It does have feet. I really like that the bottom of this is structured too. So even though like the rest of the bag is like nice and floppy, the bottom isn't gonna like bow. So that's really, really nice. I like that. It has the feet on there. It does have a magnetic snap at the top. And then the inside is chambray. Um, there's a one pocket right here. There is like a little pen mark, like a, like a like a red Sharpie mark, I think, on the leather. And then there's a couple small pen marks on the inside at the bottom, but nothing crazy. And otherwise, the bag is in great shape. 
Um, Claire Vivier, she is a local, um, like, designer from California, actually L.A., and then I believe all of her bags are made locally in Los Angeles as well. But this is the bag. Oh, I think Linda has the larger, like, the same bag as this, but ha you got that, um, the one that has the different pieces of leather. Ah! Sorry, drop this. Okay, so this is gonna be number eight. And this is our navy blue suede Claire Vivier tote bag with cream and tan strap and brass hardware. Yeah, I believe this is called the Simple Tote. And I think the Simple Tote retails for how much? Like four or five hundred? Yeah, four fifty is the retail price for this bag. And this one is gonna be how much for for this guy? Yeah. Okay, let's do this one for. Uh, let's keep it under a hundred, and we're gonna do ninety five dollars for this guy. That's gonna be item number eight. And that's number eight for $95. And then we got number nine coming up next. And number nine is our gorgeous Tory Birch. I forgot the name of this one already, Baden. Do you remember? This one has a convertible strap. I love the strap on this. It has like this cool, like a woven piece on top. This is called the Miller Basket Weave Bag. And then you can double it up and then make it a little shoulder strap. It also has this little um, gold chain piece right here. And this piece is actually, um, this is actually removable, but it's really, really pretty. I love the way that the hardware Looks like the chain is gorgeous. And the exterior of the bag is in pretty good condition. It has the basket weave design on the top flap, and then underneath it is in um, this like natural colored canvas. There's a back pocket right here, it has a magnetic top flap, so this pops open. Um, there is like a little mark right there. There's the inside. And the interior is in pretty good shape. There's just a couple of pen marks. Um, there's a pen mark right there. And that's kind of like a little, it's like a little scratch on the leather. And then there's pen marks in this corner right there. On the very corner, you can see them right there. Um, there's the other side. There's a zipper pocket inside there. And this one's actually just a regular regular pocket and other than like the pen marks the inside is nice and clean the exterior is in good shape too a beautiful bag um this bag retails for like a lot too it's pretty expensive and this is gonna be hey kirsten and this is our tory birch what was the name again Miller basket weave flap bag with gold hardware. And this is okay. This is one hundred and seventy-five dollars. No, one seventy-five. That's number nine. And then next up is number 10. Oh, Purple Rain's calling it. Congrats, Purple Rain. She's a beauty. Yeah! Woo! I love this bag so much. I think it's so nice. Okay, so that's number 9. Congrats again, Purple Rain. Uh, number 10, I have this Marc Jacobs little heart wallet. So cute. It's in like a like an off-white cream color with a red heart 
And then it has Marc Jacobs right there. There's the back. It has gold hardware. Um, main compartment. It's right here. Card slots. There's two bill slots up top. And then we have the little change pocket right here. This is where it has the most wear. There's some discoloration in the little change pocket. But otherwise, though, it's pretty, it's pretty good. And this is number 10. This is our Marc Jacobs Heart Wallet in cream and red. <gasps> oh yeah, did your hubby like the Barbie movie too, Kirsten? Also, Vadrian wants to know if you watched Heart Stopper or Red, White, Blue, <laughs> Red, White, and Royal Blue. <laughs> How much is the wallet, Vadrian? Okay, we're going to do this one for $55. That's going to be item number 10. Vadrian said that they watched um, Heart Stop Break. That's like their favorite show. I'm going to watch The Meg. Kid really wants to watch it. I love a good shark movie. Oh, Deborah's calling number 10. Congrats, Deborah. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad you liked it. We love that. My sister's like, I don't think my sister's seen it yet. I thought she was going to go with her friend, but then they never ended up going. All right, next up is number 11. And number 11, I have, this is the Coach Little Minnie Mouse crossbody bag in black pebbled leather. Then we have Minnie Mouse right there. She's in white, and her little polka dots are in a glittery red. We have the hang tag right here, crossbody strap. I love that one side of the strap is in, like, brown, and the other side is in red. Totally goes with the hang tag. There's a nice big front pocket right here. The crossbody strap is removable and adjustable. And then the interior has just one... Come on, where's my lighting? There's one interior pocket inside of there. And I don't know why it's not focusing on the inside, but it's nice and clean on the inside. The interior is in really great shape. <laughs> Kirsten! <laughs> Vadrian says it's really good. Also, there's, uh, apparently there's like this, uh, there's like a new movie. It's like Taiwanese, I think. It's from Taiwan. And it's called Marry My Dead Body, which Vadrian highly recommends too. Apparently they cried at the end. So. But this is item number 11. This is our Coach Mini Mouse. A crossbody bag with brass hardware. And this one is how much, Peter? Okay, this one is $85 for a little Minnie Mouse coach bag. Number 11. Why are all my windows popping open? Okay. Oh, bye, Robin! Have a good rest of your day at work. All right, 12 is up next, and, ooh, I have, um, this little furla number. This is a black pebbled leather, um, furla satchel. It has gold hardware. Here's the bottom. Top handles. Crossbody strap is removable and adjustable. It does zip across the top as well. And then the interior, black lining. There's a zipper pocket in the back. And then two open pockets right there. And it's nice and clean on the inside. This bag is in really great shape. And... This is going to be item number 12. 
<laughs> Christian, Vadrian should have like a little like Vadrian's movie and TV show recommendations. And okay, so this is our black furla satchel with gold hardware. And you, how much was it given? No. Ooh, okay, Kirsten, you have to let us know how it is. Vadrian's gonna make me watch it too, I feel like. And wait, what did you say, Vadrian? This one's gonna be $85. That's gonna be number 12. All right, next up, we've got number 13. <gasps> Lucky number 13. Okay, our next item is going to be this guy right here. This is a beautiful Marc Jacobs bag. And this is Marc Jacobs collection. This is made in Italy. And this is a goatskin leather. It's in a gray taupe color with silver hardware. She's in really great condition. It has, uh, has feet on the bottom. This bag retailed for over $1,200. It has this uh, snow leopard printed calf hair up top. This is actually a pocket here in the front as well, which is really great. It has little zippers right there. The top handles are nice and long, so you can wear it as a shoulder bag. Um, this one, though, does not have a crossbody strap. Though I feel like I can add like little things to the sides right here like I did to my um, Balenciaga bag. So I feel like technically I could figure out a way to do it. I just need to add like D-rings or something to the sides. But this bag is beautiful. Here's the interior. There's um, a zipper pocket and then an open pocket inside of there and it's a pretty good shape it just has some slight darkening a discoloration of the fabric at the bottom but very minimal once you get anything in there you're not even going to notice and yeah this is such a beautiful bag i'm like i loved this collection from mark jacobs i'm hoping he brings it back because he's been bringing back a lot of his like retired designs and i feel like this is like one of his um one of his staple pieces that he had from his collection. Okay, so this is number 13. This is our um, gray taupe leather Marc Jacobs collection tote with silver hardware and snow leopard scent. Okay, and this one is one. Let's do 135 for this one. That's gonna be number 13, 135 dollars for this guy. <gasps> Jean, I'm so happy to see you. How are you? Okay, number 13. <laughs> this next one, I still, I still haven't gotten the little thing removed from it. Uh, but this is another Tory Burch piece. Steffi, do not even worry about it. I can't even spell, and I don't have long nails at all. I'm all my my fat fingers just can't handle the keyboards on my phone or the computer or anything. So don't even feel bad about typos at all. Plus, even when I'm typing things right, that um, the autocorrect on my phone always tries to mess me up. 
And it's always trying to mess up my grammar, too. Like, leave me alone. All right, Tory Burch. This is a little um, black crossbody flat bag with black pebbled leather. This one's in great shape. I love the little knotted details on the sides where the crossbody strap attaches. Uh, the crossbody strap is adjustable. And there's a great back pocket right here with a magnetic snap. The top flap is also magnetic, which is great. And then the interior um, has a zipper pocket and then three open pockets. And I still have to get this removed. I keep forgetting to bring it to the store with me. If you guys take it out, but it will be removed before we ship it out to you if you purchase. All the stuff I bought this weekend, I like double, triple made sure to have the, to, to have the sensors removed. It is so crazy. <laughs> Linda, can we do that? Can we change, um, can we change, like, Siri's name or, um, Alexa or something? We can change it to Vadrian. Alright, uh, this is our black Toy Birch flat bag. And this one is... And this one's in really great shape, too. It's in really good condition. Also, I don't know if I Ooh, Jean. I will have to look it up. It's the can Canoe Journey. 2023. <gasps> oh, you said it was 125, did it? Okay, this one is 125. It's going to be item number 14 for our Tory Birch. 125. Now I kind of want to look up Canoe Journey. Let's see. Is it the Muckleshoot Canoe Journey? <gasps> oh, I love the landing page. I think, is it the, am I pronouncing it correctly, Jean? Is it the Muckle Shoot Canoe Journey? Is that what it is? If it is, I'm going to put the link. So, this one is Paddle to Muckle Shoot, Honoring Our Warriors Past and Present. It looks amazing. Ooh, and there's all sorts of media, like there's like videos and stuff of like, oh, how cool. <gasps> oh, okay, yes, here's the link, you guys, if anyone wants to check it out. It looks really cool. There's that link for the canoe journey. It will, it's the first one since COVID. Okay, that's cool, Jean. So this is the first one since COVID. So that's that's going to make it, like, super special. That's really cool. The shots, too, look amazing. Like, the photos that you guys used look really nice. Okay, I have to, just, I have to like, delve into that website later on. But that looks really cool. There are over 100 canoes. That's so crazy. Oh, no, of course, Jean. That's so cool. I've never been on a canoe. When I was little, I really wanted to, like... I used to watch this, like, um, it was, like, a little movie called The Big Rock Candy Mountains. And then there's, like, a little scene in it where um, they're in a canoe. And, like, <laughs> as a little kid, I was like, Mom, I want to go on a canoe! But yeah, so that is item number 14 with their Black Tory Birch. This one is 125. This is number 14. And then... Do I have anything else? <clears throat> oh, this one. I haven't fixed it up yet, but... <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Do I have any water? 
<coughs> dying. Okay, this one I have. A, I have. I want. I didn't even notice I had so many Tory Burch bags. Um, this one's not fixed up yet, but I will fix it up before we get it. Um, it just needs like a good conditioning and possibly like um, a little color refresh. But this is the black Tory Burch um, bag. This one, it, it has a convertible crossbody strap so you can wear as a shoulder bag or as a crossbody. It has like a fun little tassel too right there. Uh, there is a back pocket right here which is magnetic. It has all this like beautiful quilting as well too. The top flap is also... Oh my gosh! I literally thought that like we were gonna, we were not we were gonna have a sensor free weekend. <laughs> Why? Hold on, wait. I think this one can. I could rip this off. No, I can't. Why did they do this to me? Um, I I guess for all Tory Burch bags, they just like want to leave all the sensors on or something. That is so crazy. Um, zipper pockets, two open pockets, and a sensor. I mean, I guess it, in their defense, the store was closing when I was buying stuff, and I bought, like, quite a few items, so they were probably, like, discombobulated. Oh, yeah, and then they did, they forgot to do the sunglasses, too. So we had, okay, anyway... <laughs> <laughs> um, this is our next item. <laughs> this is gonna be number, uh, 15. A black Tory Burch quilted flat bag with gold hardware. Um, and this one is gonna be how much we drink? This one does have, like, more wear on it. Like, I'm not gonna be able to, like, fix the hardware where it's, like, um, discolored. Um, it's primarily these two pieces on the top flap that um, the gold is rubbing off on. Um, I know that I can get the leather to look really good, despite like some of the discoloration and dryness and rubbing. Um, that will be fixed, but it's the hardware that's going to be um, still looking the same. And this is going to be how much we for this guy? Okay, we're going to do this one for just $85. And that's our 15th item. I have to go into this extremely. Oh, I think I've seen, well, I saw a TikTok about, like, this guy, like, he had, like, one of those, like, what are they called? Rudinium magnets or something? And he, like, heated it up, and then it wasn't magnetic anymore, and then he bought, like, this really fancy machine, and then, like, made it into a magnet again. That was cool. Okay. I think that's actually going to be our last item for the day, though. I don't have anything else with me right now. This is just all the stuff that I had from the weekend. Um, oh, unless anyone's interested in... I have these Cambridge satchels. Cambridge satchel bags. Uh, let's just show these. I'll just show everything that I have right here. Um, 16 will be our Cambridge satchel. Where's my little... Also, let me leave the link, again, for anyone that hasn't had a chance to enter the giveaway. We're giving away that cute little furry sunglass, eyeglass, charm carrier thing. There's the link right there. Our, our question for the day is, who is your favorite actor or musician, alive or dead? It's right there. Thank you again to West Coast Cal for providing today's giveaway question. Leave your answer in the comments of that video. And then at the end of the live sale today, we're going to be announcing our giveaway winner. So, number 16. Oh, I just smacked myself in the face. Yes, Tanya, I will. Number 16 is this guy right here. This is the Cambridge Satchel. This is a mini one in like this, uh, like a seafoam, uh, like mint color. Shop the back of the display rack.
Carmen, are you calling number 15? Congrats, Carmen. Yay! Actually, let me check my Discord right now. I just have to check on my phone. Because it can never... Every time I try to sign in on my computer now, it like, makes me do like this difficult password thing, which is so annoying. Let's see. Oh, here you are. Oh, you wanted me to get the that book and add it to your um to your items. I can totally do that for you. Um Tanya, it's that coach book, right? From the coach outlet. Yeah, can totally do that. Ooh, I was just at the coach outlet with my with my um, aunt and cousin like last week. I wonder if they actually had it there. But yeah, we can totally do that. I can like I can order it and then Yeah. We can totally do that, Tanya. That coach book looks really cool. <laughs> Um, okay, next up was this guy. So, um, this one is in like new condition. It also comes with the little dust bag as well. And it used to have both protective stickers. I think it, one of them fell off. But inside, brand new, unlined, Cambridge satchel. It's so cute, the little tiny one. All right, Vaderate, how much is this one? How much? Sea foam green mini Cambridge satchel with silver hardware. And this one's gonna be $65. This one also comes with the dust bag. That's number 16. And then number 17 will be our other Cambridge satchel. Here. That's this one right here. This one is in gray. This one's a little bit larger and a different style from the other one. Also silver hardware. Super cute. This is number 17. Gray. Oops. Hmm? Oh, Robin's calling 16. Congrats, Yay! Robin! Such a cutie. Um, oh, Kurt, yeah, Kurt, a phone does fit inside that one. It's a tighter squeeze. This one actually fits a phone really easily, but the like the largest iPhone does fit inside the mini. Um, this one is also in like new condition. It's just in gray. And then the crossbody strap is adjustable, also Cambridge. This one doesn't have a dust bag, though. This is going to be number 17. And this is also going to be for the same price. Right, Vadrian? It was the same price? Yeah. This one's also going to be um, $65. That's number 17. I love Cambridge Satchel though. Like their bags are so cute and like so classic. I also um, still do have these are the Fendi little sandals. These were a size eight and a half or thirty eight and a half. Really cute. They have like these gold with black jeweled flower details, and they go like around the ankle. Like that. And these are number eight. 
18. <gasps> oh, Kirsten. Stop. It actually would, especially because the leather is, like, so flat. It's not, like, a pebbled leather, so it's easier to paint on. <gasps> and it's already gray. Can you imagine making this Totoro? Like, this is literally already Totoro's coloring. That would be so cute. Okay, so these are number 18. Uh, what are they again? Fendi. Fendi black sandals with gold flower and jewel details. Size 35. And these are how much? Reason? Okay, we're going to do these. Uh, we're going to discount them to $85. It's going to be item number 18. Bless you. <laughs> Kirsten. Oh my gosh, where's my sister? I'm like, peace, paint Dotra on here quick. You got you got you got two hours. Wait a minute. When does she start school again? I don't I don't think she starts school for like another week or two. No, they do fit her, Kirsten. They're just like, they're, they're, she doesn't like anything around her ankle. Like, she doesn't like things that, like, like, bands around her ankles. So, but they do fit her, the 38.5. If they didn't have the little ankle part, she'd, like, be all over it. Because, like, everything else, like, they're so cute. But the ankle thing, she can't get past it. Up next, I have this little Madewell um, drawstring mini uh, tote. It's missing the crossbody strap, but everything else is in like really great shape. Inside has one zipper pocket, and it's unlined. The deer rings on the are on the inside. I know, I almost want to paint something myself, but I've never painted on bags before, but I mean, I guess I could. That would actually be an easy one to try it on. I can try. Maybe if I just painted some soot sprites and a little Totoro. I don't have any time. I still have so many other things I have to do. It's the only thing. Okay, so this is our Black Madewell Mini Drawstring Transport Tote Bag. And this one is just $40. It's in like new condition, just no crossbody strap. Are your allergies acting up? Okay, so that was number 20. That was number 19, not 20, sorry. <laughs> that was number 19. And... Uh, should I just... Okay. I think I might just sell the Gucci headband because I don't think I'm ever going to really wear this thing. But it's so cute. So... Oh, I think it was Purple Rain. Purple Rain, if you're still in here, I know you wanted this. The Gucci headband. It's so cute. But I don't think I'll ever actually wear it for anything in real life other than just wearing it for a second and then admiring it and then taking it off. So this, oh look how cute I like that I just hold it across my forehead. This is number 20. Um, like all the tags and everything are still inside too. So all the tags are in there. This one, um, Hadrian might have accidentally like pulled a little bit so it might have come off. But you can just fix that. Um, but all the other tags and stuff are on here still, too. And it's in really great shape. Uh, this is our Gucci headband, number 20. It's gangsta cute. <laughs> Steppy. <laughs> Gucci headband. And how much is this going to be, Adrian? Okay, this one is going to be, um, $95. It's going to be number 20. And this is our last item for the day. Our Gucci headband for 95 And 
Purple Rain, if you're not in here anymore, I'll send you an email and see if you're still interested. Um, and that is it for the day. Let me leave the link one more time for the giveaway. There she is. Oops. And... Yes. <laughs> if anyone has any questions about anything, though, let me know. I miss the daytime lives. Also, I feel like the lighting is way better during the daytime, and I can open all my windows. I should have opened this window, but I feel like the sun is going to be really intense. Honestly, the same. Okay, so with that being said, let us do our giveaway. Does anyone have anything fun planned for today? I, I think I'm going to go to, uh, is it Marshall's? I'm going to go to Mar I also want to go to TJ Maxx. <laughs> okay, we're going to pick our winner in three, two, one. Do, 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 do. Our winner is Robin Brown. And Daniel Day-Lewis is their favorite. Oh, the, he's an actor, right? Favorite actor. Congratulations, Robin. You are the winner of our little furry... Charm. Congratulations. Oh, you're just chilling today, Linda? That's nice. It's nice to just, like, hang out and relax a little bit. I need to do that more often. <laughs> but, um, congratulations, Robin. You are our winner today. Um, invoices should be sent out within the next 15 minutes. Um... I don't know when the next live is going to be during this week. But I will let you guys know. Um, otherwise, definitely this coming Saturday. <gasps> it's okay, Kirsten. I didn't find it either. So I'm going to go to the one by my house today and see, though. The one by my house is always a hot mess, and I feel like they never have anything. So, yeah. If only TJ Maxx carried it, I would probably have an easier chance of finding anything. I feel like our Marshalls is literally always empty. Our, wait. Now that I think about it, do we even have a Marshalls? Back? No, we do have a Marshalls. It's like across the street from TJ Maxx. Anyway, um, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys again for hanging out with me today. And have a great rest of your week. Um, stay cool. Um, eat some french fries. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Adios, you guys. Bye. Have a great rest of your day.